Welcome back, I'm Calvin, AKA Statue Fanatic here with another review. And today we're gonna to take a look at a piece that I have been really, really excited to get. There's a little history behind this, so I'll try to make it really quick, but this is maybe my last piece from Blizzard from World of Warcraft because the, the, the website's down, all kinds of things are going on. But this particular piece was announced about two years ago. And over the years, over the last few years, I've collected these Blizzard pieces. And one of the things that I've, I've, I've loved so much about them is that they have been affordable, sub $400, incredible pieces rival some of the studios out there and uh so i couldn't wait to get the next piece from the world of warcraft line right they dropped this bad boy about two years ago at over a thousand dollars and i was like you got to be kidding me but it's blizzard right so i i didn't jump on it i said i'm not ordering it i'm not doing any of that so i waited and waited and waited and yes it did drop to 50 percent off and then i jumped on that but then just this holiday season this thing went to 75% off. So congrats to you who got this at 75% off. I wasn't that lucky. It mine had already shipped. Had it not shipped, I tell you what, I would have called them back to get a discount, that other 25%. But this is of Arthas the Lynch King. All right, so in my opinion, I think this character is probably the most storied, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He's probably the most storied and, and fascinating character in, in the whole lore. And for a couple of reasons. This guy, uh, from, you know, hero to villain, if you want to call him a villain, this guy what? He has slept with uh, Lady Jane Proudmore. He slew, I guess, Sylvanas. And get this, get this. This dude right here cut Illidan's d off. That's right. He left the dude with just berries and no twig. Anyway, I digress. Uh, he also, check this out, this guy slew one of the baddest ass vampires in vampire lore. He fucking killed Nosferatu, yes. So you can see why I love this character so much. And yeah, you guys, I've said over the years that I hadn't played the game only just a little bit years ago, which I don't even count that, and then I started getting into the novels from World of Warcraft, and especially one of my favorite novels, which I did finish, was Arthas, this guy right here, the Lynch King. Fantastic, uh, like five stars in terms of the, the, the novel and the background of this character. So I really love that. So the box, one of the biggest boxes I've ever gotten. All right, so I'm taking up too much time already. You can see how big this damn box is. And then on the... The, the the embossing and everything. The box is just cool. They should have came with a piece of artwork in this box like this. Now, all right, there's something on the side of this that this dude's dad says about him, I'm assuming. But anyway, I, tr I was gonna read this, but I can't come up with the right voice to read it in. So let me let his dad read it himself. My son, the day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name. Arthas, my child. I watched with pride as you grew into a weapon of righteousness. Remember, our line has always ruled with wisdom and strength. And I know you will show restraint when exercising your great power. But the truest victory, my son, is stirring the hearts of your people. I tell you this, for when my days have come to an end, you shall be king. All right, so enough of that. Let's get this out of the box and uh, on this turntable and see what it looks like. All right, so, jeez, uh, I don't even know where to start here. Uh, first of all, let me get off the turntable. Oh my God, this thing has got to weigh about 50 pounds, I guess. We'll move that aside for right now. Here, and you guys know normally, I don't freaking do unboxings, at least not live, because too much shit can go wrong when you're doing these things live. Look how tall this damn box is, holy shit. All right, I'm gonna turn that over. We're gonna... All right, all right, one more time. 
All right, let's see if we can lift this off of here. Here you have this bad boy out of the box and uh, I cannot be anything other than impressed. This is probably my favorite Blizzard statue to date. Um, I thought it was going to be the last one I did, which was Thrall. And then, I mean, they just, every single statue, they just got better and better. And this one, definitely, if this is the final one that they're going to do, I think they had a, um, an incredible finale when it comes to uh, their statues. Um, there is so much to love about this piece. And in the past, I wanted to get the um, Sideshow version of this uh, from way back in the day um, when he had the um, uh, resin type, uh, clear resin. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, that thing has gone up in price so much until it is just like ridiculously expensive. So when I saw this, I was really, really excited to get it. And I don't even know where to start, but uh, like I said, wow, <laughs> very, very impressed. So if I were to start like at the base, for example, the everything that's going on in this base is just incredible. And like, you know, like in the lore of this guy, like one of the things, you know, and I, I don't know this from the game per se, but more so from reading um, some of the, the lore about him and that if you look at the base, you can see all of these, what I would call undead uh, soldiers and people that he has slain or killed or whatever and I do know that was a big part of the lore too especially when I was talking to you guys about him killing Nosferatu one of the most famous undead there is uh, in terms of the vampire world and then he actually slew an entire village um, just so that those vampires couldn't turn them into the undead but uh, you can see down here in the base I mean there's just this incredible expressions on these faces of these uh, undead warriors, I mean, look at this guy here, and here, and here, and I mean, I love the shading, the coloring on it. This is just a really, really awesome piece. Um, I haven't watched, I know that a lot of people have already done reviews of this, I have watched no one's review, because I wanted my own opinion of it, and I had so many things going on, I couldn't unbox it, you know, when everybody else unboxed theirs, but oh well. And so, the base, Absolutely. There's a lot of sharp edges to this too. It's not just like, this is kind of, ooh, like I just did that. I always had to check to see if I pricked myself. It's plastic, but these things are pretty sharp. Definitely not a, a kid's toy and you should keep your kids away from this. Um, but yeah, the base, I, I just let the picture speak for itself. I, I just really can't say enough about the detail on it, the coloring, the sculpting, the shading, the painting, all of that just looks absolutely fantastic on the base. And as you go up to his body, nothing has changed there. I mean, when you look at the, the fur around his shin there, I mean, the detailing in that looks really awesome. On his kneecap here, this shield that's, you know, protecting his knee with the skull and the horns coming out of it. I mean, just one of those statues, kind of like Where's Waldo? I've said this about a couple of other statues. You can look at this a hundred times and you're going to see something different every time you look at it. The same thing with the, the knee here. You can see what I'm talking about here. His thigh, there's like the vertebrae of something that has formed this armor protecting his thigh. That's just, it's just insane. The same thing over here with this thigh, like a vertebrae of something. You can see uh, straps that are holding this onto him, but it's all sculpted, which is really awesome. This paint splatter that's on here looks really awesome as well. And then here, 
coming from his loin. You can see the uh, leather there, it, well, it's meant to be leather. It's pretty pliable, so it doesn't seem like it would break really easy. So that's a really big plus as well. Man, where, where do we go here? Uh, let's just talk about, I, I guess, the blade that he's holding. I mean, it looks like a real sharp blade that if I do that, it's gonna freaking cut me. Hell yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah, this, this is the way it's painted. Uh, it's kind of like got that sharp edge to it and it looks really cool. It looks like real metal. Um, the same thing with the skull of this animal, ram, whatever it is, that's adorning the blade handle there. Looks absolutely fantastic, man. I love this statue so much. All right, so, all right, so where else? So here, his chest and everything that's protecting his chest and his midsection, check out the pictures. I don't need to say anything else. I'm just gonna let these close-ups speak for itself. No, I won't, I'll just keep talking. Um, his, shoulder, his shoulder pads look freaking amazing. Um, both of them, look here with this skull. This is made out of a complete skull, that's so awesome. And then um, when you go around here, I think this is the same blade he used to cut it, Illidan's, you know, what off. <laughs> um, so, uh, the helmet that he's wearing, the helm, um, the Lynch King just looks amazing. Any of you who got this, I'm gonna go back and watch videos now and see if, see if I'm way off from what everybody else said, but I think I'm right on the money when it comes to this bad boy, because this looks absolutely stunning, all right? Just absolutely stunning. Look at here, okay, so we got the cape here on the back. Lots of texture, sculpting it comes up, you know, that whole, it's like, whew, and then you can see here where it's got the uh, tatteredness at the end and sort of whatever splattered on here, which I would think is like he's tracking through snow because that's what it looks like. It looks like snow, kind of like from a frost land. And that kind of is what reminiscent of the whole base itself too. And then you can see the way he's a don't, uh, the way that he's outfitted, you know, kind of goes along with that same motif. And then uh, the male, the chain male type outfit that he's wearing to protect him. You can see all of the detail in that. Absolutely amazing. I just want to talk forever because this is just such a really cool piece. Um, so, what else should we talk about? We should probably talk about the dimensions, but I don't have a tape measure. So, a little movie magic, I'll be back with a tape measure. I'm back, got a tape measure. All right, let's measure this guy. Looks like we're right at 26 inches. Give or take a little bit, height wise. Now, you gotta take into account how far this sword sticks out, and you probably definitely don't wanna put this somewhere where somebody can walk into it. Cause this damn thing is sharp, it's ridiculously sharp. Um, let's go this way. So from here to here, in terms of clearing this, you're looking at another 23 inches. Holy cow. Then you gotta take into account how far this sticks out from the back of the cape, which is about right here to here, you're looking at another about 20 inches that way. So, yeah, you gotta do some planning to put this guy in so to make sure you don't break anything, nothing get, you know, gets stuck, and you don't get stabbed like right there. Hey, by the way, I got a show to do tonight, and George is texting me too, so uh, it's Friday night. Hey, George. Uh, he actually did a review of this guy too. I haven't watched George's review either because I, hadn't, I didn't want anybody to, to shape my opinion of it. So, um, that is... What am, I, what am I missing here? All right, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. You saw all the great pictures. You've watched me review fig pens. You've watched me review stuff like this. All because I truly believe what I say. Collect what you like and not the hype, and you'll be as giddy as I am when you get things that you really enjoy. No matter what other the ballers out there say, you get what you like. Until next time, my friends, peace.